Let me explain the problem science has with Jesus Christ. You're a Christian, aren't you? Yes, sir. You know I am, dude. So you believe in God? Absolutely. Is God good? Sure. God is good. Is God all powerful? Can God do anything? Yes. Are you good or evil? The Bible says I'm evil. Ah? The Bible. Here's one for you. Let's say there's a sick person over here and you can cure him. You can do it. Would you help them? Would you try? You know, I would. So, you're good. I wouldn't say that. Why not say that? You would help a sick and maimed person if you could. In fact, most of us would if we could. God doesn't. He doesn't, does he? My brother was a Christian who died of cancer even though he prayed to Jesus to heal him. How is this Jesus good? Whom? Can you answer that one? No, you can't, can you? Let's start again, dude. Is God good? Er, uh, yes. Is Satan good? No. Where does Satan come from? From God. That's right. God made Satan, didn't he? Tell me, dude. Is there evil in this world? Yup. Evil is everywhere, isn't it? Did God make everything? Yup. Who created evil? Is there sickness in this world? Immorality. Hatred. Ugliness. All the terrible things. Do they exist in this world? Yup. Who created them? Don't you see it all over the place? Don't you? Is God good? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, dude? You know I do. Science says you have five senses you use to identify and observe the world around you. Have you ever seen Jesus? Nope. I've never seen him. Have you ever felt your Jesus? Tasted your Jesus? Or smelt your Jesus? In fact, do you have any sensory perception of your God whatsoever? Yet, you still believe in him? Yup, that takes faith. According to the rules of empirical, testable, demonstrable protocol, science says your God doesn't exist. What do you say to that, dude? Where is your God now? Is it my turn now, Mr. Smarty Pants? Ah, yet another Christian argument for the vanguard of Jesus. Come, come, now, speak some proper, bowling, alley, parking lot wisdom. Some interesting points you are making, sir. Now I've got a question for you. Is there such thing as heat? Yes, there is heat. Is there such a thing as cold? Sure, dude, there is cold too. No, sir, there isn't. You can have lots of heat, even more heat, super heat. Mega heat, white heat, a little heat or no heat, but we don't have anything called cold. We can hit 273 degrees below zero, which is no heat, but we can't go any further after that. There is no such thing as cold, otherwise we would be able to go colder than minus 273 degrees Celsius. You see, sir? Cold is only a word we use to describe the absence of heat. We cannot measure cold. Heat we can measure in thermal units because heat is energy. Cold is not the opposite of heat, sir, just the absence of it. Is there such a thing as darkness? Dude? That's a dumb question, dude. What is night if it isn't darkness? What are you getting at? So you say there is such a thing as darkness? Yes, I. You're wrong again, Mr. Smarty Pants. Darkness is not something, it is the absence of something. You can have low light, normal light, bright light, flashing light. But if you have no light constantly you have nothing and it's called darkness, isn't it? That's the meaning we use to define the word. In reality, darkness isn't. If it were, you would be able to make darkness darker and give me a jar of it. Can you give me a jar of darker darkness? What is your point, dude? My point is, 
Your philosophical premise is flawed to start with and so your conclusion must be an error. Flawed? How dare you? You are working on the premise of duality. That for example there is life and then there's death? A good God and a bad God. You are viewing the concept of God as something finite, something we can measure. Sir, science cannot even explain a thought. It uses electricity and magnetism but has never been seen, much less fully understood them. To view death as the opposite of life is to be ignorant of the fact that death cannot exist as a substantive thing. Death is not the opposite of life, merely the absence of it. Is there such a thing as immorality? Of course there is. Wrong again, sir. You see, immorality is merely the absence of morality. Is there such thing as injustice? No. Injustice is the absence of justice. Is there such a thing as evil? Isn't evil the absence of good? If there is evil in the world, professor, and we all agree there is, then God, if he exists, must be accomplishing a work through the agency of evil. What is that work God is accomplishing? The Bible tells us it is to see if each one of us will, of our own free will, choose good over evil. As a philosophical scientist, I don't view this matter as having anything to do with any choice. As a realist, I absolutely do not recognize the concept of God or any other theological factor as being part of the world equation because God is not observable. I would have thought that the absence of God's moral code in this world is probably one of the most observable phenomena going, newspapers make billions of dollars reporting it every week. Tell me, Pastor, do you teach your flock that they evolved from a monkey? If you are referring to the natural evolutionary process, dude, yes, of course I do. Have you ever observed evolution with your own eyes, sir? Since no one has ever observed the process of evolution at work and cannot even prove that this process is an ongoing endeavor, are you not teaching your opinion, sir? Are you now not a scientist, but a preacher? I overlook your impudence in the light of our philosophical discussion. Now, have you quite finished? So you don't accept God's moral code to do what is righteous? I believe in what is. That's science. Ah. Science. Sir, you rightly state that science is the study of observed phenomena. Science too, is a premise which is flawed. Science is flawed. Is there anyone in town, who has ever seen you mind? Is there anyone here who has ever heard your mind? Felt your mind, touched or smelt that thing? No one appears to have done so. It appears no one here has had any sensory perception of that thing. Whatsoever. Well, according to the rules of empirical, stable, demonstrable protocol, science, I declare you, has no mind. How could I bowl a 301, if I didn't have a mind? You cannot bowl, a 301. Well tell me dude. How could I bowl a 300, and lose?